When it comes to its online presence, the Boston Globe has long been accused of having a split personality, offering re readers a free site as well as a subscriber-only one. And while the Globe insists the strategy was a commercial success, it's now unveiling a major revamp. Boston.com or BostonGlobe.com. If the Boston Globe's two website strategy confused you, editor Brian McGrory feels your pain. Well, that's the problem. Nobody gets it. It was destined to be too confusing. It is too confusing, and our our, our goal is to uh, to end that confusion. In an attempt to sharpen the distinction between the two sites, Boston.com will no longer post Boston Globe content and will soon relaunch as an independent product. So now what we're doing is we're putting all Globe material on bostonglobe.com. And we are going to make boston.com a completely independent, separate site with its own voices, its own stories, its own graphics. But cheapskates can rejoice, as the split won't end free access to Globe content. Because, are you following this? bostonglobe.com is replacing its paywall with a metered system. We're giving everybody... 10 free clicks a month. So we welcome you to the site. You can click on 10 different uh, uh, pieces of content. And uh, we're hoping that uh, you'll like what you see and you will subscribe so that uh, you'll get the full range of what we do. If you're going to have a split personality, might as well make both of them engaging. Well, I like both sites and I flip back and forth between the two. But don't you think, Dan, this is going to be a competitive issue because, I mean, as I understand it, sports is still going to appear on Boston.com, so you're not going to have to pay for that to get on BostonGlobe.com. And just that they're both in the same building, there's going to be some competition, although I understand Boston.com is going to be more, you know, best place to buy hamburgers and that stuff. But still, I would think there would be a competitive overlay there. Well, there is going to be a competitive overlay, more so than there's been in the past because they are completely separating the two sites uh, and uh, and Brian McGrory has specifically mm. said that they may end up competing with each other sometimes. You know, this bit about the paywall at the at BostonGlobe.com. I think too much has been made of it. it. It's not a revolutionary change, but it is an evolutionary change. The paywall has always been flexible. It goes up, it goes down, <laughs> and now they've decided they're going to allow more sharing, That's which it. I think is a great idea because that can be a marketing tool to get people to pay for the Boston Globe. You know, I, I'm still confused, actually, <laughs> uh, if I can be frank here, uh, uh, in, in large part because a lot of the, um, the real strength of Boston.com came from it being fundamentally tethered to the journalism of, of the Boston Globe. And that was its calling card, that was its anchor, that was, when all said and done, that was its brand. And so this, this idea of separating out Boston.com, and, and I really get the idea of beefing up uh, BostonGlobe.com, but separating out Boston.com uh, and, uh, you know, and, and orphaning it in a way, you know, it's, uh, it's like floating in space now. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. But there is a really critical business issue for the Globe going on here, too, because uh, we got. We know that it accounts for about, at least in 2013, about 40 million dollars worth of digital revenue for the Globe. It's a big, you know, it's a big part of their operations. To take away the Globe content out of there and then say, mm. you know, go make this kind of money. Obviously, they think they're going to make some of that money back at the BostonGlobe.com site, but to to release it from its parent like this strikes me as highly uh, as a big gamble, frankly. I think um, bringing down the paywall a bit is smart. I think it's smart to let people in to hopefully, I think what they're hoping is get them hooked. And, and look, they're competing with a bunch of sites, WGBH, WBUR, <laughs> that they go out and collect the news of Boston and put it on a news site. And there are places that for free you can get news. So, so Boston Globe has to figure out a way where they offer something that's so exciting and thrilling that you are willing to get out your credit card and pay for it. You know, and uh, besides GBH and BUR, there's also other websites that are much more specific and targeted, let's say, to the business community or whatever. So that's one thing that's going on. The other thing is, I think what they're hoping is say to say, look, advertisers, we have a suite of offerings. You will give you some, you know, sort of uh, eyeballs here at Boston Globe, but then we'll give you some stuff on Boston.com. We've got radio. We've got, you know, they're trying to, I think, come up with the sort of compelling suite of things that they can say. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. 
Well, yeah, I hated that other system. Hate, hate, hate. <laughs> I've complained about it because I just, it's just too daggone confusing for me. Never have figured it out, so call me dumb. I know people are at this moment. <laughs> but, but I thought to myself, hmm, if you have Boston.com, and I don't know anything about Boston, I just put in Boston.com, yep. right. that's going to come up. So you're going to get a lot of outside of the city traffic, a lot of sometimes inside the city traffic. I don't know Globe so much, but I know Boston. So I put that in. So I'm seeing maybe a whole other audience that they could build toward. To your point, you know, 10 best burgers, I'll read that. Um, and I know how to go to each one of them. And yet you still have the opportunity for people who are really understand the journalism of the Globe uh, to go to bostonglobe.com. Finally, and understand that there is where you might have those spotlight reports. You have those other, you know, long ongoing stories that that we like to follow. So I think it could work. Um, it really all depends now on the personalities over at Boston.com, in my opinion. So let's take David Epstein. My goodness, yeah. you know, meteorologist. I just quoted him in a in a yep. commentary I did. You know, the guy is built from nothing. That's what I think they have an opportunity to mm -hmm. do. Take take names and places. He had a reputation before and build and grow a whole other set of people over there that'll make me want to go check that out in addition to my Boston Doc Globe. Well, I'll tell you what I prefer. I'd like to see one Boston Globe site and have a combination of paid and free content on that site. Maybe that's what they'll go to eventually. Maybe they'll listen to you. Thank <laughs> you.